watching the world burn, watching the world burn. June 24th, 2024, let's get into it. So we've had a bit more information about the attack, the United States attack on Crimea yesterday. And uh, well, that's a cool butterfly, did I get that on the video? <laughs> All right, sorry about that, I was distracted for just a second. Anyway, uh, the, uh, with the death toll numbers that I reported yesterday are pretty much spot on. Uh, now, the new news was that it was, it was actually even worse than we thought, according to the Russian uh, Ministry of Defense. Okay, now that I'm getting my news from them, but they're saying that the, the, the real attack was against a cathedral and that the death numbers would have been much, much higher. Now, can you imagine attaching, attacking a cathedral? What military, why militarily would you even attack that? I mean, these people, these neocons and the, and the Democrats, they've lost their minds. And the, uh, what's come out of it, Putin, you know, Putin's a man of his word. You know, he doesn't just say, you know, say things just to say things like the Democrats do. I mean, when a Democrat's lips are moving, uh, they're lying. <laughs> You might as well just take it that way, or they or they uh, are, are spouting lies and they don't even know they're spouting. They're just a vacuous meat puppet that uh, absorbs anything the government tells them, or the Democrat mafia party. But anyway, getting back to uh, what Putin has said, he said there will be a response. I have no idea what that means, but you bet you can bet your buns that there there will be a response. And if Russia was hesitating to arm. The, uh, their proxies around the world, you know, Hezbollah, Iran, North Korea, uh, the Houthis, you better believe weapons are on their way and Americans are going to die. I'm just telling you that and the Democrats don't care. That's why if you got a son or a daughter that's in the military and their enlistment is coming up, I mean, I know you know, maybe they don't have the ability to get another job, you know, and I'd hate to cut a career short, especially if Trump gets in office, you know, maybe you want to wait and see. Uh, but normally when you re-enlist, you know, it's, it's for another four-year term. And if, I, if my prediction is correct, and the, uh, the 30 million illegal aliens that are going to be voting, or, you know, putting in ballots, I can't call that a vote, putting in ballots in the next election, and the Democrats win. Democrats don't care about your sons and daughters in military uniform, nor do the generals or the high ranks, because those are just Democrats too. You know, we've got uh, bases in Syria, bases in, uh, you know, Iraq, I mean, all over the damn place. You don't think those bases are going to come under fire here within the next couple of months? There's going to be a lot of dead Americans, and the Democrats, they don't care. They don't care about your sons and daughters, and... Uh, they certainly don't care about the United States. I mean, I don't even know what they're thinking. You know, once you're done destroying the United States, where are they going to get their soldiers from? Where's their power going to come from? Other than that, that they'll be the authoritarians in charge of the country. I don't know. We're going to continue on this theme of talking about Democrats. And, uh, well, hell, I'll just continue right now. There's three types of Democrats. One is a vacuumous meat puppet. So next time you're out talking to a Democrat, I want you to do your own assessment. Maybe ask them an intelligent question and see what response you get. You'll probably just get a talking point that they've heard on mainstream media or that the government has shoved down their throat and they don't know anything and you're just going to be going like, can they really believe that? <laughs> the sad truth is they actually do. That's the, that's the, the, the first type of Democrat is the vacuous meat puppet. Second type of Democrat is the totalitarian dictator, okay? These are the ones that spout that you're a racist and, you know, that all MAGA people are, you know, need to be exterminated. Uh, they would just assume see uh, a Republican dead that have them uh, sit across from them. You know, that's why, uh, you know, it's hard to be friends with the totalitarian Democrat, but uh, I imagine some of you do have totalitarian Democrat friends, but listen to what they're saying. You know, these would be the people that supported Hitler in Nazi Germany, okay? They wanted to exterminate the Jews. They would 
they would definitely be in favor of putting all uh, MAGA Republicans in concentration camps. And in fact, uh, our concentration camps are being built across the United States. So that would be that would be the one. If you're out with a totalitarian Democrat, boy, you really got to think about that. The third type of Democrat is a satanic pedophile. Those are the worst. Those are the ones that are in Congress right now. I believe that uh, I I put Bill Clinton in that category. He he went to uh, Epstein Island on a number of number of occasions. I can't imagine what went on there. But uh, those Democrats, uh, they're just pure evil. You know, they want to see the, the world go up in flames. They want thermonuclear war. They want to end mankind as we know it. They want, you know, they definitely want abortions. As many as, as they can get. And that's another thing, you know. I'm still hearing the Democrats trying to make an issue out of Roe v. Wade and say that all Republicans are against abortions. Well, guess what? The pill can now be used in all 50 states up until the end of the first trimester. So a woman it has the availability to do an abortion in all 50 states, at least up until the first trimester. And the pill, I mean, I'm not even sure they can stop, you know, the women. I mean, if they buy the pill before they pass the first trimester, they could just do the abortion themselves, even though it's illegal. But I doubt they go to jail, even in a Republican state. So we might as well just say that abortion, you can get it anywhere you want. And if you go to California, you can actually kill the baby as they pop out of the womb. So, you know, I, I, I don't even understand why it's an issue. I mean, I, I'm against abortion. I think that we should uh, try to have as many kids as we can, raise them properly, teach them things. But that's where we are. So those are your three types of Democrats. And next time you're out, you know, because that's why I can't be around a Democrat. I can't stand them. And we're going to talk a little bit more about this topic. So let's talk about some of the actions of Democrats. First action would be uh, war. They're warmongers. They want war. They want war everywhere in the world. They want to start a war with Hezbollah. They want to start a war with Russia. They want to start a war with China. They, uh, they, they love war because, uh, you know, they're all about power. And, and the, 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 what happens is, you know, of course, they feed the, uh, the war machine and the machine pays them back. That's how they get their power. So they're going to feed that war machine. They don't care about your sons and daughters. Uh, they're just meat to be ground up, you know, especially uh, if we start hitting Hezbollah. I imagine we're going to lose, lose a few, uh, few planes there, maybe even an aircraft carrier. Democrats don't care. They don't care. I mean, just look at uh, Afghanistan. Next time you're out with a Democrat, I want you to just look them in the eye and say, "How? explain to me how you were for what took place when we withdrew from Afghanistan. And see, they, they don't have a reply to that. That's why I said they're vacuous meat puppets. They'll just sit there and they'll get all fired up. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's a, that's a lie. That's a, don't, don't make up some weird, <laughs> weird answer. And you're like, well, you know, 13 Americans died and we left $85 billion in military equipment behind in Afghanistan for the Taliban to use. You know, we abandoned all of our allies in, uh, in Afghanistan. And, and boy, I tell you, you want to get a Democrat fired up, start hitting them with a few truth bombs. Holy moly. They don't, they, because they don't have an argument. So all the, the only argument they can do is they attack you and they'll say, oh, you're a racist. You're a racist. You know, your toaster is a racist. I don't know. Your dog's probably a racist. You know, they, they have no answer to it, but other than an ad hominem attack, you know, on you. I, I just want you to take note of that. Any of you who actually hang around Democrats, I just want you to do that test one time. Now, you're going to get an earful. They're going to come after you in an evil kind of way. Hell, they, they, they might even punch you in the nose. <laughs> That's how crazy they are. But I want you to just see that reaction because they don't have an answer to it. And then ask them about uh, why are we spending $2,200 billion to Ukraine? This is what Democrats do, right? We're sending $200 billion to Ukraine, or a lot more than that now, along with all of our weapons. You know where how low our weapon stocks are right now? You think we had we had about 10,000 Patriot missiles, and by my estimates, we're, we're getting low, very low on the number of Patriot missiles that are left in our stocks, and that's what Democrats want. They want the United States to be completely disarmed. It's amazing. 
And you hit a Democrat with that, and they'll go, hell, I don't know what you're talking about. We got to defend Ukraine. Why are we defending Ukraine when we got people homeless in the streets around the United States? We've got, you know, kids dying of fentanyl. We've got 85,000 children that have come across the border illegally that are missing. We don't even know where they are. There was just a 12-year-old. Now, ask a Democrat about this. There was just a 12-year-old that was raped for two hours by two Venezuelan gangsters, okay? And then they choked her to death and just dumped her body in the bayou. Ask a Democrat about that. See what they have to say. I, 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 don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't hear anything about that. Well, well maybe you probably pay attention to the news. You know, there were a lot of Democrats when I first got on uh, X, right after Elon bought it. And it was amazing what an echo chamber it was for the Democrats. And uh, and so, you know, once all the conservatives kind of, you know, filtered back in, you know, I, I remember my account back then, I had uh, 13 followers. I didn't really bother with the X. I did post there, I mean, Twitter, back when it was Twitter. I never really posted there because, you know, I was knew I was buried in the algorithm. I was being censored. So what, what was the point, you know? But occasionally I would throw up something just to, just for fun and giggles. Well, you know, I'm up to about 900 followers now. That's not too bad. But uh, but anyway, what, it, at first, you know, I was engaging with people because that was the first time I was able to do that. And you wouldn't believe the response. I mean, you know, because I was agreeing with them on certain things and disagreeing with them on others. Now, when I agreed with them, they were like, oh, you're my friend. You know, I, you know, and, and you know, they were, they were, you know, patting me on the back and saying, but then when I would disagree with them, like I remember one woman, I told her, I said, well, I don't understand what the big deal is about abortion. I mean, you can go to California and chop the head off your baby anytime you want. What's, uh, <laughs> you know, don't tell me you can't, don't have access to abortion. And boy, she responded, I thought you were my friend. I thought you were my friend. I'm like, well, hey, you know, I'm, I'm just making an argument here. I'm not trying, you know, to be friends. I don't know you. Anyway, she uh, she blocked me right away. <laughs> and a, and a, a bunch of her, uh, I guess her followers blocked me too. I'm blocked all over on X, uh, I imagine. But uh, anyway, it doesn't, doesn't bother me. I, you know, if you can't, uh, and that's another thing. I mean, I, I don't know about you. I love in, engaging in uh, political, and it, you know, it's, it's, it depends on what you term to be political. You know, Afghanistan, according to the VFW, the withdrawal there, which was a military operation, and you'd think that with veterans that they would want to talk about, you know, the, uh, the results of that, or talk about it in general, oh, that's considered political. You can't even talk about it at a VFW. This is what veterans are. They're weak-minded people, a lot of them, especially the old ones. You know, they, uh, they got their little pensions and everything, and they don't want to rock the boat, and they, you know, they don't even want to engage in conversation. How is the Afghan withdrawal political? You tell me that. I don't get it. Anyway, we'll get more into this topic as I think of other things. I mean, there's so many things that the Democrats have done that's evil. I've been killing 200,000 Americans with fentanyl. Ask a Democrat about that. Say, how can you be for killing 200,000 Americans a year? And, oh, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. How can you be for an open border with 30 million people in the United States illegally? Oh, they're undocumented. They're just undocumented. These are people that are good people. Good people. The ones that just raped the 12-year-old? There's a bunch of other instances. There was another mother. She was killed by an illegal alien. I don't know if you heard about that. I mean, the, the stories are coming out every single day of atrocities being committed by illegal aliens. And the Democrats are all for that. Remember that next time you sit down across from a Democrat. They are for the rape of women. It's beyond my imagination. They're for the killing of babies. They're for, you know abortion up until, you know, even when the baby comes out the womb. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if a Democrat mother snatched up her baby and strangled it right there in front of the doctor. That's, that's the way, I mean, that would be a better way to com commit abortion, right? Anyway, that's just, uh, just me venting on about what a Democrat is. And I hope next time you're out and around them that it makes you want to puke. A couple more things about what is a Democrat. And these are the authoritarian Democrats. Remember when Democrats passed the uh, vaccine mandate. And I got, I had to experience that firsthand. I was back when I broke my neck. 
and I was stuck in a damn hospital up in Virginia, of all places. You know, I live in Florida. If you follow my videos, you know that. Anyway, I couldn't get back to Florida. I was stuck in this hospital for about three months. And what had happened was, because of the vaccine mandate, because we've got Charlottesville, Virginia. Got a cobweb on my face. Sorry about that. Charlottesville, Virginia is the woke of the woke. <laughs> I mean, I think everybody that lives there is a Democrat, you know. So you can imagine how I fit in. I mean, I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe I've got these idiots taking care of me. It was brutal, man. And what had happened was they had... Uh, the nurses, you know, the conservative nurses, the, the good nurses had all quit because they didn't want to get the jab. I can't blame them. And then, the, you know, the reason why now they were seeing the side effects and they said, well, we're not going to we're not going to take an experimental vaccine, even though we would lose our job. So this is what a Democrat is. They would just assume you lose your job. And if they find out you don't agree with them about, you know, racism or whatever else they want to is their issue of the day. They will just assume bankrupt you, steal the money out of your bank accounts. They'll uh, they'll uh, make you uh, lose your job. They'll attack you. They'll use the, uh, I mean, look at Trump. They'll use the legal system to, to bankrupt you that way or embarrass you. I mean, these people are ruthless. That's what a Democrat is. You know, like I said, you've got the vacuous meat puppet and then you've got the ruthless Democrats. Those are the authoritarians. But I mean, when you sit down across a Democrat, I mean, I, I, I know I want you to do that experiment, but you got to be careful because if they're in any sort of position of power, you could lose your job. So don't do that at work. I mean, if you got to suck up to an authoritarian Democrat to keep your job, you know, so be it. I just say, try to find another job <laughs> if, if you can. I mean, you know, we do have a parallel economy that's developing slowly but surely and there's a lot of places to go to make that work by the way i'm in uh i'm in the marshall swamp we'll get some uh, nature pics here in just a minute i'm just hoping it's supposed to rain this evening you can see how i'm sweating big time and uh that's why but i wanted to get you some scenery on the video let's just show you what it looks like real quick isn't that beautiful that's why i hike down here now you don't want to get caught back here in a rainstorm and there are bear, a lot of bear back here. Uh, you know, it, shockingly enough for it being a swamp here in Florida, very rarely do I, I've never seen a gator. I have never, I've hiked this trail many times because I love it. It's just so freaking awesome and beautiful. But anyway, let's uh, let's get back. I'll think of some more things about Democrats. Anyway, I'm not sure how far down in the swamp we'll get. I was hoping to show you the swamp, but we'll see. So continuing on with the Democrat, I did a series of videos a long time back uh, he'd be hard to find him. I got like 900 videos and, uh, but in that video, I was talking about how the Democrats, uh, use the tax money to buy votes. Now, you know that Biden just forgave, I don't know how many billions of dollars in student debt. And that's just to buy those votes uh, that you and I are paying for it. And that's the way the, the Democrats legislate. And, you know, unfortunately they really sucked in the, uh, the black population, you know, you know, the, they put them on welfare, uh, you know, turned them into to drug addicts. And, you know, a lot of them uh, in the neighborhoods are, you know, war zones. Uh, but the blacks, uh, they, they're dependent upon the Democrats because they need those welfare checks to survive. I mean, think about it. When a black woman has a child, she gets more money. She used to. I mean, I haven't looked at the, the, the rules around welfare any, anymore. So they basically bought off the... Uh, and it's ironic, because you know, the Democrats were the ones that enslaved the blacks. <laughs> They're the Democrat Party is the party of slavery. I mean, that's who the Republicans fought in uh, the, the Civil War. But yet the, all the blacks vote for the Democrats, and that's because the Democrats bought their votes. But by buying their votes, they didn't understand that they're not making their own way in life. So they're just subservient meat puppets for the Democrats. And may, I may have to turn around. That was a deer fly right there. So anyway, I don't have my bug netting on. Kind of didn't think about the bug problem here. All right, so that's uh, that's how the game is played. Oh, it was a snake. Oh well, glad, glad I didn't step on him. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't bite me. Holy shit! All right, let's just keep on going. I want to get a shot of the swamp. If I just keep an eye on my legs and make sure the the uh, flies aren't biting on me, we should be able to get down in here. This is late evening, by the way. It's a great time to be in the swamp. You hear the. Uh, the bug noise, I tell you what, I, I'll flip it around, 
and just be nice and quiet here. I want you to hear what the swamp sounds like. I always encourage uh, people to get down into the swamp, you know, especially in the summertime. And, but of course, you got to have your bug netting, but you know, definitely a, a net over top of your head, and you're going to sweat your ass off. <laughs> but but it's just so vibrant. I mean, if you ever watch the the swamp thing, it's uh, it's a pretty neat place to be. But let's just take a look. Isn't that beautiful? So that's kind of where I'm heading. I got flies on my head. But I want to get you a, a, just a quick view of the swamp and then, and then I got to get the hell out of here. I got to cut off here and watch for flies biting on me. All right, I'm getting down in here. You can see this is what it looks like to the sides. But I'm going to be nice and quiet and let you listen to the sounds of the swamp. Check out the lizard. There he goes. You know, I'm amazed at how dry it is. We've had some rain and uh, large portions of this trail, the well, last time I tried to hike it all the way through, it's about three miles, maybe a little more than that. Anyway, there was a lot of it was underwater. I couldn't even hike it. But I'm looking at the swamp. Look how dry that is. I mean, we have had a drought. Oh, look at the deer. See him up there? There he goes. Can you imagine? There goes another one. Pretty cool, huh? Isn't this neat? Love it down here. Just wish I could see a gator sometime. I'm not up close and personal, just kind of at a distance, you know. Don't feed the gators, by the way. So I wanted to come down to the bridge here. This is as far as I'm going. But because I wanted to see, that's the first time it's ever been completely dry in here. What happened to all the water? It's like the swamp has been drained. I haven't been down here in a while. A couple months at least. And look at this. There's no water. This is, this is usually all completely, the water's almost up to the, the bridge here. But look at here. There's no, no water down there. Well, anyway. Let's head on back. If I think of something else to tell you about why you don't want to be a friend with a Democrat, I'll get to it. Let's just listen to the sound of the swamp for just one last second. All right, a quick story before I hang up. These boards here, they, but this was so swampy, the right through here on the trail, that I had to walk across those boards to get to that bridge to stay out of the water. That's what it was like a couple months ago. Now it's completely dry. Wow, crazy. I can't, I, I need to grab my bug netting and hike this trail. It looks like uh, you could probably go all the way through now. And I enjoy that. I gotta fly on top of my head, dang on it. So getting back to how Democrats are meat puppets. Next time you're out and about and you see someone wearing a mask, I want you to you know, if, if you've got the nerve, say, uh, are you a Democrat? <laughs> I guarantee you. I guarantee you the answer will be, yes, I'm a Democrat. So that's, you know, that's the, the, the blind leading the blind. You know, a Democrat, uh, they don't even think twice about getting five boosters. You know, uh, I mean, I, think about it. These are meat puppets just to be led around and do whatever the government tells them to do. You know, Fachi. That freaking troll that needs to go to drill uh, kills 10 million people and he's still free walking about. I guess if you think about it, Stalin killed that many or more and he never got prosecuted. He actually died, I think. Well, some people say he was poisoned, but most of, most of the consensus is he died of natural causes. Anyway, just saying. So that's what a Democrat is. That's, that's the meat puppet Democrat, the one still wearing masks. They, they still don't know any better, even though everybody around them doesn't have a mask on. Uh, you know, ask them if that mask is working for them. <laughs> they probably don't even know they're breathing their own bacteria. I can tell you that right now. Unbelievable. Sorry, I just thought of this. So if you don't believe me about the concentration camps, look at what they did to the January 6th MAGA Republicans. They hunted them down like dogs. I mean, the ones that even the ones that just walked into the... Uh, the cat were invited into the Capitol building. As somebody pointed out, those Capitol doors 
when they locked those, I mean, those things are thick. You can't get through them. They could have locked that building. Nobody would have gotten in. I mean, I know you say, well, they were breaking the windows on the side. I'm not sure if that's, I mean, true or not. I mean, I've seen pictures of it. And uh, they might have gotten in that way, the, the radical ones. But certainly people wouldn't have walked right in if they had locked the front door. Because those doors, from what I understand, they're, they're dead bolted shut. I mean, you know, you need a battering ram or a tank to get through those doors. But just look at how, what they did. Those people are still in jail. For what? For just walking into the Capitol building? Most of them just kind of looking around. You know, you don't think the Democrats would throw you in a concentration camp? And let's get back to the meat puppet story. Remember back on, I know your memory, people's memories are, are short. Remember when they were saying that the unvaccinated were a threat to all mankind? And they were uh, going on about, you know, how, you know, you, if, if you're put, sat down next to a vaccinated person and, and you're unvaccinated, somehow you were a danger to them, even though supposedly if you're vaccinated, you can't get the disease. So what were they worried about? <laughs> this is what a meat puppet, they, they have no rational thought, you know. And of course they were believing the government that there was no natural immunity. I mean, most people by that time had had, had COVID and uh, there was no need for them to get the jab. But Democrats, I mean, oh, you're unvaccinated, get away from me. Get away. Well, if you got the vaccine, what the hell did you get the vaccine for if it ain't doing no damn good for you? I mean, you know, this is how irrational they are. Just wanted to point that out. So the next thing I want you to think about next time you're around a Democrat, and this kind of goes across all the, the three categories of Democrats that I've made for you. It's uh, and especially, uh, but all Democrats are hypocrites. I was just listening to, I mean, and think about when, when I say they're vacuous meat puppets, only vacuous meat puppets would vote for AOC, another vacuous meat puppet, and put them in Congress. I mean, think about that. I mean, Chuck Schumer is a vacuous meat puppet, you know, but the Democrats vote for him. I mean, think of some of them, Maxine Waters or whatever that black woman is. I mean, she's a vacuous meat puppet, but vacuous meat puppets are voting for her. You see why my categories? But when I talk about hypocrites, and this was AOC, and I think she was with some Democrat named Brown, and they were shouting, cease fire now, cease fire now. No more kids and women being killed. We got to stop it. Well, look at what's going on in the United States. Do you know how many of the women, these illegal aliens of the 30 million that have come across the border have been raped? And a lot of them now are, are serving the drug cartels in brothels all across the United States. How about those women? You know, many of them are dying as a result, you know, because probably the cartels hook them on drugs to make them more malleable so that the men can come in and rape them day after day so they can just keep making money on them. How about all the kids? Even Trump said recently, a lot of those kids that have come across the border are dead. And let's think about the 200,000 Americans dying from fentanyl. So here they are shouting for the Palestinians. And I, you know, I'm, I'm against, I, I want to cease fire also. I actually agree with them on that. But, uh, and I'm not for the killing of women and children in Palestine. I'm for the eradication of Hamas. I can tell you that, but going about it the way the Israelis have, just bombing indiscriminately, and I talked about the bomb that they just dropped on another uh, refugee camp, helpless people, just trying to, to live in, the, in a hot desert in a freaking tent. Probably don't have much water or food. But uh, anyway, just think about that. They're hypocrites. They want to save the Palestinians, but yet they're killing all the Americans, raping women and children. They're pedophiles and Satanists, that's what I told you. Two other examples for you to prove my arguments on this video. Was you remember back when uh, the, um, there were people uh, peacefully protesting the taking down of the Robert E. Lee monument in uh, Charlottesville? Only a Democrat would want to destroy the history of the, uh, of the United States. And just think about it, Robert E. Lee was a Democrat. <laughs> And they took down his statue. They're hypocrites against themselves. That's why I love it when people say the left eats the left, right? Holy moly. But that, to tell you how woke Charlottesville is, they tore down all of the Confederate statues. Unbelievable. Just destroyed their history. Because they're leftist lunatics. You know, that's authoritarianism. And then when you think about it, okay, 
Are you for censorship? I mean, I would love to sit down and have a debate with the Democrat. Like I said, they won't debate you because they know they can't defend what it is. That, there's nothing that it, about them that they, is defensible. So you can't sit down and have a debate with them. So what do they want to do? They want to censor you. I mean, the Ministry of Truth, they established that. I don't know if you remember that. You know, that's the only way they can win an argument is to shut you up and say that you can't say anything. And a lot of, uh, a lot of conservatives don't say anything because they don't, just don't want the attack on them and they don't want to lose their job. I completely understand. But, you know, but think about that. Do you ever want to censor a Democrat? No, I want to see what the, uh, you know, because it's kind of fascinating to me. What, what goes on between the, their ears, you know? Must, I mean, is, is it just a vacuous, you know, piece of meat? That they, I mean, when you think about it, you know, because it's just fascinating to me that there's people like that. It's amazing. Wish I could zoom in. Check out that bird. Pretty cool, huh? Making quite a ruckus, isn't he? Been hiking for five minutes and that bird keeps following me. <laughs> now most of the time when a bird, there comes another bird, when they're making a ruckus like that, well, back when I used to go backpacking, it just means that there's some baby birds nearby. Especially when they swoop down at you. That's usually what that means, but I don't know why he'd be following me. That's kind of weird. I've never experienced anything like this. I've been hiking about 10 minutes. That bird just keeps following me. Making a bunch of noise. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And there's his buddy right there. Watch him. He's up in the tree. I'm just hiking along. Huh. I'll get another shot of him here in a bit if he keeps following me. Have you ever had a bird follow you like this before? I don't think in all my days. He just keeps keeps following me. And there's his buddy. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I mean, I've been hiking about 15 minutes. I just want to add to the vacuous nature of Democrats. You know, here you had that brown dude and ASC jumping around, cease fire now, cease fire now, and a bunch of uh, lunatics in the audience are chanting right along with them. And yet, here's Joe Biden giving the Israelis all the 2,000 pound bombs to drop on the Palestinians and kill them, you know, to, to basically genocide them. And yet, here they are, exciting, cease fire now on one hand and they're giving all the weapons to the Israelis to kill all the Palestinians. <laughs> is that the craziest thing when you think about it? I mean this is how can you it's just just weird, isn't it? I, I don't I don't even understand how the people think like that. It blows my mind. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.